Check it out. The brand new Ableton. <gasps> wow. And check it out. Can't say. You see the... <laughs> you see the freaking chat? I've got that going, so now I can see what's going on. And can you show us how to make uh, really nice analog pads? Actually, I should probably make something like that for this track right now. What I would do if I was to make an analog pad, here's what I would do. Check this out. This is very fast, too. I'm going to do it like... Oh, well, not fast. I don't want to like speed through it, but the easiest way <laughs> I would use a plug-in. But if I was to make like a nice warm analog pad, are we seeing? We're seeing, seeing all of Ableton here. So we get a nice chord progression. So what I'll do is I'll copy and paste the chord progression that I have in this track here. So that, I'll put that. And I'd usually use Serum for something like that there. See, the problem is I don't have my OBS. I don't have a second monitor yet, so I'm watching the live, the actual live stream. So if, I go, if I'm going extra slow, then forgive me. But, okay, so let's say we have our VST, and I'm gonna go ahead and loop this little section. Ooh, what? So, what I would do, if I was to make this from scratch, it would just be sine waves. We start with the sine wave. And then how to make anything a pad, basically, you have two options. You can either go into the envelope down here and we turn attack like all the way up so it's got a really gradual rise. And then attack and release basically, that's that's how you make it more pad-like. You can do it that way. You can also, if you don't want to fuck with the envelope too much, you can turn level down like this and use an LFO to do that. So I'm going to drag LFO 1 up here onto level. I'm going to turn the LFO all the way like this so that it's like an uphill climb. We're going to go trigger so that every time you hit the note, it, it starts the LFO. And then I'm going to turn right down here to like maybe half a bar just to give it. Actually, you, maybe I want to do it like this here. Make it the up and down and then give it a bit of curve. Actually, you know what? Now that I'm doing this, I think the better way is to use the, the envelope. So forget this. Forget this. Or wait. I'm just gonna use the envelope to make it sound like a pad. There you go. And that's just with the sine wave there. Really analog, really warm. If you want kind of different different tones, go into basic blah, blah, go into basic shapes here. And then you can just ch uh, try messing around with the wavetables. Oh wait, when you hear that, you're like, damn, that doesn't sound like a pad anymore. How would I fix that? Filter. Let's go with the filter. Even just the normal low pass one. Just like that. And you can turn up unison so that it's thicker. So what I would do now is I'm going to turn on oscillator B, put another basic shapes, probably either a sine or a triangle. Make sure that's also going through our filter. And then octave it up so that we have another another layer. And then we can kind of adjust. And that's for like an analog pad. And that's that's just raw. That's no 
That's no filter, uh, no, no processing, no nothing. The only processing I'm really doing is this filter here. But that's to really get like get that sound going. Tangent RBLX says, hi, Ash, I love your Alone remake. Keep it up. Thanks, man. I'm really glad you like it. I worked really hard on that, actually. That Alone remix, I... Oh. <laughs> I spent a long time on it. Uh, but yeah, going back to these pad, to this pad. And you can, with Unison, you can really, like, stack, like, m make it as though you're stacking, like, 12 of these, but only with the one synth. And the key here is this filter. It's this filter, and as long as you're just using basic shapes, that's how you get that really analog sound. Um, next thing I would do is if I want to make it even more analog, there is this plugin called RC20. It adds noise. It gives wobble space, and it's just like knobs that you can turn to just make it sound good, like really, really quickly. 